In this video, I will show you how to make char siu bao. Char siu bao is a Cantonese barbecue pork filled bun. The buns are filled with barbecue flavor char siu. Char siu refers to pork filling. The word bao simply means buns. This tutorial consists of three parts. First, I will show you how to make the char siu fillings, then followed by the dough and three ways of using the basic dough. And here are the ingredients you need for the fillings. For 500 grams of tenderloin, you need 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 2 tablespoons of tomato purees, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, and 1 teaspoon of fine spice powder. Now, make the marinade for tenderloin. Add all the ingredients in a bowl and mix well. Now, you can add the tenderloin and make sure that the pieces are evenly coated. Cover the meat with a plastic wrapper and let the meat marinate overnight. Roast the tandelion in a hot oven at 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Glaze the tandelion with a generous amount of honey and continue to let this bake in the oven for a further 5 to 10 minutes. Let the char siu cool completely and dice them into cubes. Next, let's make the sauce. In a bowl, add 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce. 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of dark soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of sesame oil, 2 tablespoons of sugar. Mix well and add 3 tablespoons of corn flour. Mix the mixture with a whisk until there is no lumps. Dissolve 1 chicken stock cube in 300 ml of warm water. Add them into the sauce and mix well. Dice two large onions, heat the pan with two tablespoons of oil, fry the onion until it turns soft, add the soft mixture and let the mixture simmer for three minutes. When the sauce is thickened, add the diced char siu and fry the mixture for another two to three minutes. Set aside and let the fillings cool completely before use. To make the dough, add the butter, sugar, and yeast into the warm milk. I am using the ready-made bun mix for making this recipe. If you do not have this mixture, you can also use plain flour. Use a mixer to combine the milk and the flour together until it forms a soft dough. Knead the dough for about 5 minutes and put them in the plastic flings and set it aside. Divide the dough with a pastry cutter or a knife evenly. Flour the rolling pin and roll the dough evenly. Make sure that the center is slightly thicker. By doing that, the filling will not explode while steaming. Put a spoonful of fillings in the center of the dough and carefully pleat the bun until they are closed up. This may require a little bit of practice. Just stay calm because practice makes perfect. Once you have pleated all the buns, place each bun on a parchment paper square and steam the bun using a steamer. Make sure that the water from the steamer is boiling before you put in the bun for steaming. Do not overcrowd the buns because it will expand. Let each batch steam for 12 minutes over high heat. Flour buns is a bun that contains no fillings. It is a kind of bun that you can eat together with the dish like the Chinese eating rice. Take approximately 250 grams of the basic dough, roll it out into rectangular, and sprinkle with scallion and sesame seeds. I am making a mini bun in this case. 
If you like to have a bigger bunch, you can double the amount for the dough and the fillings. Fold one side of the dough to the center, grease the dough with some cooking oil, then fold over the other side. Cut the dough into 8 even sizes with a pastry cutter or a knife. Stack the dough on top of each other. You should be able to make 4 mini buns. Put some flour on the wooden stick and press it firmly in the center of the dough. Pull the dough apart gently. Lift up the dough with a stick and twist the stick so that it creates this beautiful flower effect. Seal both ends of the dough using your fingertips. Place the dough into parchment paper and let it rest for a while before you steam it. Steam the bun in high heat for 15 to 20 minutes. Lastly, how do you make this cute kitty bun? This is all you need to do. Add food coloring a little at a time until you reach the desired color on the dough. Add some flour if you find the dough is getting sticky. Once you reach the desired color, roll and pleat the dough the same manner you did with a white classic char siu bao. To make the eyes, use a little bit of the white basic dough. Divide them evenly and make them into small ball, approximately 1 cm in diameter. Use water as a glue to glue the eyes to the bun so that it will not fall off while steaming. I use black sesame seed as the eye ball. It is much easier to use a teaser to pick the tiny sesame seed to position it on the ice. Put the bun on parchment paper and let it sit for about 20 minutes before you steam them. This bun are best eaten freshly steamed. I hope you like this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!